Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. Ryan, how are you? I'm all right. Just all right? Yeah, just all right. Can't complain. I, I can, and I am. You know I like to run. Mm-hmm. Yesterday was impossible. Today looks like it will also be impossible. It is so windy out there. Oh, just run down the wind. You'll be faster. You have your best time ever. Yeah, and then there's the question of getting back. <laughs> have your wife come pick you up. Uh, that's the same thing she said. So, you know, big shows here to help. I appreciate that help, but uh I I'll 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 either go for a short run today or put it off until tomorrow. I'm I'm tortured. We'll see. We'll see how I feel after the taping of the show. I guess I really don't have any reason to complain because I got two good feet still. And all my marbles seem to still be in order. So you have you have the ability to go running. Yes. Yes. Um, First world problems. <laughs> that is true, folks. That is very true. Okay, so. We are going to be talking sports today, but it's a little different than our usual conversations about sports. We are talking about some weird things that have gone on in sports. And a lot of it has been, you know, within the week. Um, I'm just going to, you know, start off with this first one here. Uh, the Beijing half marathon happened uh, several days ago. And uh, from China... A runner named He uh, Jai, I believe that's how it's pronounced. First name H E, last name J I E. Uh, he won, but it was the way that he won. Uh, it says here that during the half marathon, uh, organizers said Monday that they were investigating after footage shared widely online appeared to show three of the African runners deliberately allowing China's He Jai to win video clips of Sunday's race showed Kenyans, Robert Keeter, uh, Willie Nagant and Dejean, uh, Halu. I hope I don't, you know, just destroy <laughs> those names. Uh, they, uh, were approaching the finish and they appeared to let him, uh, cross the line in front, apparently waving he out in front of them while appearing to slow down. Uh, he was the 2023 Asian Games Marathon gold medalist. So it's not like he's slow, but for whatever reason, he caught up with them, passed them, won, and that raised some questions. Now, before we go through this, I think, and I, I really hope I did, Big Show, I think I've found some footage and we can look at it and we can see if uh, this is true. You okay. want to take a look here with me? Please. Okay. Let's do this. Is there sound? Apparently there is no sound. It's only 48 seconds. And I are they waving him? It looked kind of like they were waving him. And they are just hanging with him, but behind him at the finish. Hmm. Mm. Play that one more time. Okay. Pause it there. Right there. Go back just a little. Yeah, go back to about 20 seconds. Or, I guess. Yeah, play hit. that and get ready to hit pause. Yeah. Stop. So, it did look, if you look at the guy next to him. Yeah, it did look like he was waving. seconds ago, him. it looks like he waved him forward. Go ahead and play. Now, he goes on the other side. 
and it looks like the guy and in the middle he's is holding the guy on his, on his left. He's like holding him back. Like but, no but now the arm is moving forward. He's waving him forward. And and now they're all just back there. Nobody's making a move on anybody. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. My question is, what was the point? Well, that's what they're trying to find out. This is definitely one I'm going to have to look at uh, later on to see what uh, determination they made. Uh, it's I mean, one so thing to be sportsmen, but it's another to deliberately let somebody win a game. But I, I, I mean, but even if you did, what's really what's the big deal if they did let him? Win. The only thing I can think of, other than they're really great friends with each other, they all run together, and this was in Beijing this year. So mm -hmm. he's from China. Right. Let him went on the home road. I was going to say stadium, but it's a little bit bigger than that. Home home turf. Home, home turf, yeah. That's the only thing I can think of. And, you know, they they've still got bragging rights because you know they would have won. I mean, but my thing is, I mean, whatever their reason, what, what is the problem? Like, why is this a problem in the race world? You're a runner. Like, why is it an issue? I could see if they were two football teams or something like that. Well, you know. And one well, it's kind of like if you go back and Brett Favre let Strahan get the sack to set the record for the season. But that didn't change down. the outcome of the game. True. But he just fell down. He just kind of gave it up. It's kind of a cheap sack. Yeah. I, I get that. No, but like this, I don't understand. Like, what is the uproar? I mean, the only thing I can see is, hey, this is—he's got home. This is the home turf, like you said. Let him do it. Go for it. We're not going to. I mean, but why do people today. have a problem with it? As a runner, I don't have a problem with it. Um, if I were in the same position, I would be very appreciative if somebody did that for me. If I was in their position, I could see myself doing it. I, I, it's not above me and I'm not so selfish that I've got to win this. You know, it, it's, it's not what, that mentality. What was the time? Uh, cause I think if I read it right, he beat them all one three by one second. Yeah, it was within a second. One Oh three forty six. They were right behind him. So, so just a little over an hour. Yeah. Which, you know, makes my marathon time look shitty but that's another story for another time did you start and finish a marathon i i've never ran an official marathon got you I, i've only done official half marathons and well, let i mean me tell like you, my half marathon is two minutes and four i mean two minutes two hours and 14 minutes i mean that's good uh, that, i mean they can run a full marathon in the time it takes me to run a half true. marathon i mean but that's good for an amateur i mean i'm just you know my wife ran two marathons the new york mm -hmm. and the chicago and i think she did them just under six hours or something like that so i mean she's not professional but she did it and i can see that because that's the amount of time i'd be looking at for a full yeah you know if it takes me two two and a half hours to you know run 13 miles you got to do more than double that for 26 because you're going to get considerably slower in that second yes. half. Yeah. I'm interested. Look, you have to keep us posted, put a, put a little note in that one. And yeah, I will definitely put a the, pin in that one because, you know, follow it up to me. All I see is sportsmanship. I really do. I, I don't see, I don't even see sportsmanship. I, I, I mean, I, I don't, unless there's an underlying issue. I, like you said, they want him to win. They wanted to give him the props of winning in China. Yeah. Or they know the guy's going to die in two weeks. Or he just lost a family member. Something like that. I see uh -huh. it. I mean, but I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily consider it sportsmanship. I mean, maybe so. I mean, gray area for me. Oh, okay. Not, I mean, I don't really care okay. either way. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm going through this again just to see if I pick up on anything else. First of all, I misspoke earlier. If I did, I'm sorry. It was the Beijing half marathon, so I don't feel so bad. Uh, they they ran it in one hour and, you know, like I said, a few minutes, but it was just a half marathon. So they just double me up. That's all. I feel better now. I thought that, you know, 
lap me four times, just twice. <laughs> I like fuck, man. They were really cooking for doing it over an hour, just over an hour. That, whew. Uh, here's my thing, though. The Chinese social media site Weibo, and I hope that's pronounced right. Uh, some of their users were criticizing what they saw as embarrassing. I don't understand how they could be embarrassed about it. I mean, no matter what, I, all I see out of it is sportsmanship. The only way I can see this as a non-sportsmanship thing, and, and I'll move on to the next topic in a second, is if the African runners were favored by their country, pressured in any way or something like that, and they decided, you know what? F it. I'm not going to win it. And, you know, or that's on they the African had money runners. on the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Let this do pass us. We're about to win 50000 <laughs> Now, here's what's bad. And this is not related to this run. But in the 2018 run, uh, 258 runners were found to have cheated. I was reading that. many who took shortcuts. Cutting through trees. Uh, cutting one, anywhere on the path. One rode a bike. <laughs> wow. One rode a bike, got busted by the official. Oh, yeah, there it is. A, a, a got back green on rental the bike. bike. Mm -hmm. Jumped so he, off the bike, and then after they quit looking, got back on the bike and rode some more. He must have thought it was the Tour de France. <laughs> I, I, yeah. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? Yeah, and it's only cheating if you get caught. That's right. So, uh, speaking of getting caught, we're going to go to your uh, favorite Chiefs wide receiver, Rashi Rice. And I mean that in tongue-in-cheek because he probably won't be on the team going forward. Oh, sure he will. He ain't getting really? cut. He ain't getting yeah, cut. he ain't getting cut. Yeah, he can still catch, so that means something. Um, he's In about, the grand scheme of things, he had a wreck. Yes, he did. He's being sued for $1 million. Over the involvement in that Dallas speeding crash. Um, Good for him. Now, it's a lesson he had to learn. I, I, I was getting ready to ask you. Should he fork over this cash? Do you think he gets off lightly? By who? By the people that are suing. Because, you know, in oh, the I'm eyes sure. of the law, there's I'm still there's still other details. I'm sure they'll settle out of court for some... I pro they probably won't get the million. They'll probably get, you know, quarter, half, three quarter million dollars, you know, which is still six figures. But yeah, yeah he's going to he's got to come out of pocket um, and he's going to be punished. Yeah, he faces be, eight charges in that crash. Yeah, uh, I doubt he'll receive any jail time. I could be wrong. I doubt it. Um He'll get suspended by the NFL. He'll be A fine. couple of accounts do include bodily injury, and one is serious bodily injury. But I don't think there was anybody that was had any life-threatening injuries, which no. bodes well for him. And, you know, I can't remember his name. This would be back in olden times, kids. But this was the Dallas Cowboys uh, player. I think it was Leonard Little. Vehicular... Homicide, was it? He yeah, actually friend, killed someone. Well, his passenger flew out. He had a wreck on an overpass, and his passenger flew out the window over the bridge and landed down at the bottom. And he was charged for vehicular manslaughter. Yeah, but Leonard Little went on to continue to play in the National Football League. Yes. So I'm pretty sure Rice is safe. Uh, I, mean, I, said, I said he was charged. Didn't say he was convicted. True, true. And, and and I think Rice will still be okay. I mean, you've got to do something of epic proportions. Uh, Raider fans, unfortunately, we're looking at, uh, what was his name? The speedster Henry that Ruggs. we got. Yeah, Henry Ruggs. You do something boneheaded like that, and then, yeah, you're done. Well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it was the very same act. They both did the same thing. Difference mm -hmm. is Ruggs killed somebody. Yeah. And Rice uh, was lucky enough to not do so. 
Um, but he's not the only person being charged because I believe there's a college student that's also being sued that plays for the college that Rice did that was re- that was driving the other vehicle, mm. uh, an SMU player. Um, I yeah, I agree. He needs to be punished. He needs to be fined. He he needs to, you know, he'll be. I probably if I. I'd say probably four to six games is what the NFL will probably find him for. Probably closer to the four. Um, you know, what the Chiefs do. I don't, I doubt, I seriously doubt the Chiefs cut him. Yeah. We'll know in we'll know in a week or two how severe they're gonna punish Rice. Now, before, See the diff here's the thing. If you mm-hmm. go back to Kareem Hunt, okay, and Kareem Hunt had a domestic issue. Yeah. And we cut him as soon as it all came into light. Yeah, the Kareem problem lied about was, stuff, too. That was the problem. He lied to the team. Mm-hmm. So the team cut him. Rice hasn't lied. Rice has been open and honest working with the Dallas Police Department. So that's why I say I don't think that they will cut him. Okay. Now, before I go into the next topic, unrelated but related because it's a team and it affects uh, an automobile accident. The son of um, coach, uh, the Chiefs coach, Andy Reid. Yeah, I forget Andy Reid's son's name. He he's out. Yeah, if I'm correct, is he still yeah. part of the team? Is he still on the staff? No, he's he not. was let go right after the incident. Okay, I did. Okay. Well, I guess I can see and that. I mean, I don't agree with him being out yet. He should have served his full time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're we're talking about, you know, was it a severe brain injury that the little girl had? Yeah, she's she's permanently brain damaged. Yeah. Yeah, so but that, yeah. She she will never have a normal life. So I get that. Yeah. So, you know, lesson to these athletes. Um, you're not all powerful just because you got a little money in your pocket. You got to be careful. If the media doesn't try to get you, you know, doing stupid stuff will. And the other thing, you know, not, you know, to the millions of viewers out there watching us, I get it. And I'm sure there are some. I'm going to go on a limb and say there might be some future athletes watching this show. Okay, just saying. Here's some here's some advice from Big Show. Put people in your circle that are not going to allow you to do stupid shit. Exactly. You know, when, the, when you say, hey, let's race, you should have somebody in your circle going, nah, Rashi, that's not a good idea. Why don't you let me drive? Or whatever. To piggyback off of that. You always want friends that are willing to tell you what you need to know, not what you want to hear. Yes. Those are true friends. Yes. Those people that allow you to do dumb shit are just riding your coattails because they have no skin in the game. There's nope. there's no there's no uh, repercussions for them. All those people that were in that car that were riding along with these guys, there's no re- they're not getting sued for a million dollars. They're not getting charged for leaving the scene of a crime Damn, that's or a scene true. of an accident, you know? Well, unfortunately, he's not the last. It's going to happen again, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yes. So, hey, this this headline came across too. NCAA hoops coach exits with a hefty payout and... A trail of scarred players. So I'm going to read a little bit of the article here. This was interesting uh, for a couple different reasons. NCAA Division I women's basketball coach finally resigned this week. Resigned after years of abuse allegations, including racism and homophobia. But former players are outraged by her amicable departure and hefty six-figure severance payout telling the Daily Beat that her alleged misconduct goes way beyond the recent allegations that led to her exit. We're talking about Northern Kentucky University, and uh, this past Friday, uh, Cameron Vole's contract 
short following an investigation into alleged abuse behavior. Now, I've never heard of Cameron Bowles, uh, V-O-L-Z. I probably butchered that name, too. Anyway, an anonymous report uh, filed to the school officials on March 5th alleged that Bowles frequently engaged in racial remarks, homophobia, constant degradation of mental health, according to a redacted human resources document reviewed by the Daily Beast. A week later, another anonymous report claimed the coach had created an environment where fear and manipulation were used to make members of the team compliant. Now, I'm, I'm going to break this down right here. Um, at its core, and, and for lack of a better word, a coach's job is to make you compliant. Not, not, not talking about this coach or what they did, but uh, we've got several styles of coaching across sports. And maybe she was from that Bobby Knight school of coaching, you know? Now, I don't know what was said because, A, it says it was redacted, and all we get is racial remarks, in quotes, and homophobia. Oh, oh you just got to read further. It says that she would uh, racist behavior, regularly mocking black players' hair and comparing it to a horse's mane asking if they were going to get their hair done before the next game and telling one player that she was looking rough and tough like they were going to beat someone up because of their hairstyle. I don't know, though. I kind of count. I, I think that's kind of funny. But you And know. she made racially insensitive comments about certain cities being dangerous and that she had to get on a player who was from one of those places. I, I see both then, sides of it. I really do. Um, and there then, is a line. And also question the players' uh, sexuality when they behaved in gender non-conforming ways. That is outed one the line for sure. Outed one player on the team, uh, joked about gender stereotypes and made fun of players for so-called masculine, beha masculine behaviors and had an overstepping interest in players' sexuality. Uh, the mental part is she would call them weak, or she would continue to badger them if they cried. She also is being accused of consuming alcohol during team-related activities. Uh, but that's about as that's about as detailed okay. as they go into. But going back to what I was saying earlier, if you look at the last paragraph, according to HR documents, Vols defended her coaching style and described it wholly appropriate in a Division One basketball program, suggesting that players wouldn't have complained had they won more games. Now, I don't know how much of that is true. She's finished by saying, when you lose, everything's magnified. So, yeah, um, that goes back to that. We're just using him because he's familiar with everybody, the Bobby Knight coaching style. He was very tough on his players. He would say whatever he wants to. Bill Parcells in the NFL was the same way. I get it. I really do. But, yes, there is a line. And unfortunately, in this day and age, you can't cross that line. She did. Yeah, here's the problem. The players that played for Bobby Knight mm -hmm. and Bill Parcells, that, that age group of players are now the age group of the head coaches. Yeah. The people that they're coaching aren't the, cut from the same cloth as the players from back then. Very true. And we this 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 society nowadays is so damn sensitive that you can't say anything. And uh, you know, not knowing exactly what she said, should she have probed into these kids' sexuality? No. No. Had, should she berate their mental acuity? No. Should she do any racial talk about hairstyles and uh, no? That's not acceptable. And no, none of it's know, acceptable, but uh, like I she mean, did say, it, it is magnified. To to what extent did, did she say this? Is this something on but, a daily basis? Was this but something is it magnified? That was, is I, don't, it magnified? I don't know. That's what's what she said. I know, but is it did you know who she was before this article came across your screen? Absolutely not. 
Exactly. So how many times she won or lost wasn't magnified. Now, if the people from Iowa, the head coach from Iowa or LSU, mm-hmm. you know, or South Carolina, the ones that were that have been making noise the last few years, that'd be different. But we don't even know who this person is. So, no, it didn't magnify anything. It is interesting, though. Um, in, yes. Now, 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 going back to the beginning and the meat of the uh, article. I don't believe that this person should have got a payout. Uh, yes, I understand. She's under contract. So if you let her go, there's a severance. I get that. But there should be clauses in these contracts based on behavior. You know what I mean? Uh, you shouldn't just be able to walk away with, you know, your full salary and, you know, retype the resume, go out and try to uh, get another coaching job somewhere else. Uh, th- there should be more consequences and, and you know same as the um, people we were talking about in the last segment it goes this for this too too many people are not facing adequate consequences for what they do and what's that old saying if one person says it it's a rumor if more than one person says it there's got to be some truth to it And if all these players are coming out saying she said this, she did that, yeah, there's plenty of truth behind it. There's plenty of hurt feelings, and there's plenty of people that feel a certain type of way. So I feel that it wasn't properly investigated. I feel that it's being more swept under the rug for the university so they don't get any more bad publicity. Here's your money. Go on, and let's keep everything else quiet. Oh, yes and no. I mean, she was playing devil's advocate, mm-hmm. okay, because I wasn't in the locker room. Sounds like to me she was our type of coach when we grew up, you know. Right. Come on, you fat fucker, run faster. You know, that's that's the kind of thing, you know, growing up. Um, and the And the girls didn't like it, but the girls didn't do anything to or come out like they were till after this was all done. You know what I mean? Right. Like we're. You still played your four years for her. Why didn't you transfer out? You know, why didn't you quit? You know, it must not have been that bad type of thing. So, you know, for maybe they were false, uh, excuse me, false accusations as well for the school to give her the amount. Because maybe she was like, you know what? If you just cut me loose and not pay me, I'm going to sue your ass because you have no proof. I didn't do none of this type of thing. And maybe, you know, just to cut ties you know kind of like what rice is going to do with these people that injured him you know what i'm gonna give you 500 grand we'll just call it square you know that type of thing very true hey before we wrap this up i want to ask you did you read the article about the uh nike olympic uniforms i read at it but i couldn't see anything i mean i guess there was one picture um are you talking about the one where they were actually showing the uh on the on the dummies? Yeah. On the mannequins, yeah. I'm actually looking at it now. Yeah, it's the one that says first look. She's standing right by the uh man the men's mannequin. It's a very high cut. Uh, it looks like a bathing suit. Yes, it does. And it it shouldn't I mean, we don't need to see any camel toes. I'm just saying. Uh, and this I, is the, I agree. I agree. And this is definitely going to show some. But let me ask you this. The athletes aren't the ones that are up in arms. They're just people that have viewed the Olympic uniforms. Because if you're an athlete, you know you can wear your spandex shorts underneath that. You can wear regular shorts on top of that, which most of them do anyway. This is just now, one I don't outfit, think they would while they're running. I don't think well, they would, that would slow them down, wouldn't it? What, a spandex like the- pair of shorts? over it yeah if somebody if 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 somebody else isn't wearing them and you are and you're doing the 100 you know the 100 yard dash or what 100 meter whatever mm-hmm. that is um wouldn't that slow you down like f- fractions of seconds it, it would yes uh to the layman you and i uh we could run one of us in a fur coat and the other would just a t-shirt and that may not make a difference but yeah to these no, olympic style yeah. runners every and fraction of the second makes the a difference yeah. right 
Um, so I agree with I could you on see there. The running, I, I could see the running spandex thing. But I do want to say before we go, if you look at the mannequin and then you look at some of these itty bitty Olympic runners, uh, that outfit's going to fit a little different on them. Not much, yeah. but a little different. Yeah, maybe. I ain't, I ain't putting the big burly pole vaulting woman, you know, in that. Probably. But she's going to be in it. <laughs> well, they do have, I want to say it's a combination of like 20 some odd outfits. So uh, I think they should just swap it. We'll have the men wear the women's or the women's wear the men's. Yeah, that's an Olympics I won't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show, take us out of here. Hey, thank y'all for uh, stopping by and spending some time with us. We appreciate you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you can see all of our good content. And uh, yeah, love each other. Tomorrow's not promised. We'll see you next week. See y'all.